Welcome back to another episode of Will It Measure, brought to you by Go Measure 3D. Today's challenge is a header produced by a manufacturer that would like to collect the data off of the header so that he can remanufacture this product. We're going to utilize the Microscribe MLX 6 off and we're going to utilize the TZCAD software to capture this data for the manufacturer and prepare it for tube vendors. So let's get started with our measurement. We're going to measure. We're going to measure tubes tactile. We're going to go ahead and declare the diameter of the tubes that we're going to measure at 1.75 inches and we're going to use a constant bend radius or center line radius of 3 inches. We'll color this tube red and we'll go ahead and get started. So, we need to bring the microscribe to the tubing to go ahead and start collecting some data. So let's start with tube number one. The first thing that we're going to declare is the plane. Does that cab will ask, are we ready to measure the first cylinder? We'll say yes. So let's go ahead and measure the first cylinder. It puts the cylinder onto the screen. Now we'll move on to the next cylinder. You can get that information from the back. Moving on to the third cylinder. And then the fourth. Now we'll go ahead and measure the planar end of the cylinder. And we're done with tube number one. Okay, now that we've measured tube number one, let's go ahead and measure tube number three. So we'll pick on measure, tube tactile once again. Let's go ahead and color it green this time, and we'll get started. Let's get the planar face information. We'll go ahead and measure the tube. We'll get the back side of the tube for the next bend. Now let's get the planer into the tube. And that completes tube number two, or excuse me, tube number three. Now that we've got tube number one and tube number three in our system, we can manipulate the software a bit and take a look and you can see that the tubes are lining up nicely in the data that we're collecting. So let's go ahead and measure our next tube. Change the color for visual reference. This time let's use uh, maybe a dark blue. And let's go ahead and measure it. Again, taking the planar face, we'll start with the first cylinder. And for those that are not familiar with the Microscribe, I'm touching the cylinder with the stylus and I'm activating the Microscribe or collecting the data point by simply pressing a button. So let's move on to cylinder number three. And 
and then the last cylinder. Getting the planar face, and that'll wrap up cylinder number five. So let's move directly into cylinder number seven. Measure, tube tactile, and we'll use a nice paint color. All right, one more cylinder, let's get the information. Our last straight section. And we'll get the planer in. And that completes collection of that data. So now let's take a look at the data that we have here on the screen. You'll notice that for every tube, we have all of the TBE information. We also, excuse me, the XYZ information. We also have the TBE information. And one of the things that's critical is we want to keep a, an eye on the length of that tube. Now bear in mind with the ZECAD, we have some great functionality as far as the ability to manipulate these tubes. Okay, now that we have the data on our screen, which looks nice and aligned, one of the things that's fascinating about Zetcad is the ability to do some tube manipulation. So this number three tube, as it's coming along, let's go ahead and distort it slightly. So we'll come in here to manipulate, we're going to distort the tube. Let's pick on this tube. And it gives us a series of adjustment tools so that we can make some small adjustments. So I'm going to pull that tube up just a wee bit. And let's uh, rotate this around so we can see what's going on. Make sure we're not getting into any interference points. Tuck that right on up in there so we get a much tighter fit. In fact, we can pull this guy up just a little more. So now we've got a nice snug fit on that tube. Go ahead and get enter. All the TBE data is updated. And we can go ahead and send this out to the vendor and manufacture these tubes for this header. So once again, I want to thank you for joining us at Will It Measure, sponsored by Go Measure 3D. If you would like any more information about the products that we offer for sales and service, you can contact us on the website at www.gomeasure3d.com or you feel free to contact us by phone at 434-946-9125. Thank you. Have a great day.